Hi everyone. So before I begin, just straight off the bat, you're going to hear a ton of noise. We have the neighbors next door this way. You're going to hear drilling because they're like getting their whole portrait done and it's a lot. You might hear my, I think my husband's going to be taking the kids outside. So I'm like, please try to keep them. So this way they're not, you know, especially, well, my daughter mainly, she's not going to like come barging into the room out of nowhere, you know, so he's going to probably take them to the backyard. So you might hear them outside. I'm not sure. But hello, it's been a while. Again, I've done this before where I take my breaks and then I come back and then I take my breaks and then I come back. It's probably why I'm not, you know, the most popular YouTuber. All right. Um, you know, I know that this platform is not for everybody or for even people like myself. And I still do videos anyway, because I enjoy it. And, you know, I do have some of a following. So I think it's safe to say that there are some people that do find me a little bit entertaining. Maybe when I, you know, pop off every once in a while or, you know, say my cheesy jokes every once in a while. I think that there are people who enjoy those parts of me. Okay. I am a very, um, I have a lot of layers to me, okay? <laughs> I'm not just one person all of the time. And I, I think most people aren't. And um, if you are, then I guess you're a robot. Um, that's not what this video is about, though. This video is about <laughs> what I've been seeing going on with regards to um, Puerto Ricans and hip hop, or um, not just Puerto Ricans um, in particular, they're also talking about Caribbeans and, and stuff like that and their contributions to hip hop. And there's people that are like arguing, well, who created it, how it started, yada, yada, yada. So first and foremost, I think um, a lot of this seems to be like a lot of trolling, which in some cases, some people are hilarious. I don't know much about um, Tariq Nasheed, but I saw like one video that he, I don't know if it was a clip of something that he did that was like a like a long, a long live stream or something. It was like maybe about a 20 minute clip of something. I was hysterical. I thought it was the funniest thing in the world. Um, and there's other people that I saw doing videos about it. Um, I will say though, um, there is, I, I do sense that there is trolling on the one hand, and then there's also some seriousness to all of it, okay? Um, now, the argument that a lot of people are making is that hip hop was created in 1973 and therefore Puerto Ricans were not involved in the beginnings of hip hop. Now, I did a video on this like a couple of years ago about Puerto Ricans and our contributions to hip hop. I did this a long time ago, okay? Um, and uh, so people do, I'm not going to lie, you know, so the arguments that I heard from, I, I guess you would say the, the American, the black American side, um, is that it started in 1973 and Puerto Ricans really weren't in the game like that yet. And therefore, you know, we really didn't, you know, contribute like that to hip hop. Okay, I guess that's a fair enough argument. But then my counter argument would be, if that's the case, was hip hop called hip hop? in 1973. No, right? It was probably called something else or probably didn't really have a name to it at all. So when hip hop was labeled as hip hop, I think by that time, Puerto Ricans were already in the game. Okay. So if we, if we want to use that argument, we can use that argument and be like, we've been here since the beginning because when hip hop literally technically started and there was a label on it, we were there. Okay. So I, but that's petty, you know, that's petty. <laughs> That's petty. Oh, I think it's a decent argument, but it is petty. Uh, but to say that um, that we didn't have any contributions, that's obviously not the case, okay? Um, so we did. However, while I feel this is the case, I also see um, or have a strong feeling, and this is, how, this is why this video might be um, you know, I might sound a little bit more passionate at some points than others in this video, um, because I will say that I, I have, I, deep down, I feel that a lot of Black Americans are giving this type of pushback because for such a long time, this was a part of their culture that people are always insulting, okay? 
Um, people are always uh, talking about the negative parts of hip hop, you know, the, 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 the degradation of women, the violence, the, the, the drugs, um, you name it, the gang stuff, the gang violence, right? Um, everything that comes along with it that's negative, okay? Um, so for a very long time, I would say growing up in New York City myself, firsthand, I've seen it and heard it, okay, from Latin people and from Caribbean Blacks and African Blacks, okay, towards Black Americans. I've heard them literally say, with me being there, physically being there, telling them I am not Black, and constantly um, removing themselves from Black Americans and distancing themselves, like, hey, you are not, I am not the same as you. Right now, the argument, the counter argument that most um, and I hear this most specifically from uh, 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 more, uh, I guess, African um, Latin Latinos that are more heavily, you know, melanated, you know, Latin people. Right. A lot of times their arguments are, well, we only would say that because we're trying to say we're not black American. Bullshit. Bullshit. I'm calling bullshit on all of you, okay? Because every time you guys would say stuff like that, and again, this was in like in front of my face when I, this these type of things happen around me frequently, okay? Every single time that argument was never presented. You guys never went and said, "Oh, I'm saying that because I'm not Black American." That's never what you guys said, ever. It was always, "I'm not Black. How dare you call me that?" That was it, and that was the end of the end of the discussion. Every single time, every single time. And if you guys, the ones who are watching me, if you guys are gonna try to be like, no, that's not true, you're full of shit. Don't, come on, don't be full of shit. Don't be full of shit, okay? Then you got the ones that would say things like that, and then they would even deny having heavy African ancestry. And they'd be like, I, I'm not black, like I don't even look black and stuff like that. Meanwhile, they'll be darker than the very same uh, black American person that's asking them whether they're black or not. And like, and I would physically, I've, I've seen this, I've seen it, okay? And not in all cases were the, um, were the foreigners always darker than the black Americans, but in a couple of cases that I've seen it, they were. And in other cases, they weren't. They were lighter, lighter complected, okay? Uh, maybe not as white passing as me. Some people may argue that I am white passing. Some people may argue that I'm not white passing. People have told me different things my entire life with regards to what I look like, okay? I've had different types of experiences, different types of treatments from people when I lived in New York City. For the most part, when I was there in my adult years, um, I had people coming up to me speaking in Arabic. So I don't know what that tells you. I had more people coming up to me speaking in Arabic than I would have people coming up to me speaking in Spanish. Okay. <laughs> so, and then when I do talk, I have a heavy, uh, Brooklyn accent, heavy Northeast accent, right? So the point is, is that I've had, I've been told different things. Okay. But this video is really not about me. Um, with all of these things that I'm saying right now, when I'm talking about how um, for a very long time that you've heard people who are um, foreign or maybe first or second generation that would always kind of be like, I'm not black, I'm not black, I'm not black. You hear that rhetoric as a black American person and you hear it enough and you're going to be like, oh, well, all right then you know you you're not you're not one of us you're telling us you're not one of us you're constantly saying that you're not black and supposedly you you think you don't even look black so what what does that mean to me then get all right then then you have you know no contribution to anything like why why do you want this contribute like why do you want this now after for such a long time you've been saying that you're not one of us now when you want you know the 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 praise and when you want representation and when you want to be seen now, all of a sudden, it's, you know, oh, we, we took part in hip hop. We did this and this and that. Now, all of a sudden, it's a, you know, it's a happy party. Very similar to now you have Latinos that are not New Yorkans, not Puerto Ricans, are not of Puerto Rican descent, talking about being like Latinos created hip hop. No bullshit. The ones who were there first were Puerto Ricans from New York. All right. Let, uh, let, let's get that. Let's get that straight. Okay. Because the very same thing that these 
uh, for, you know, these Latin people from Latin America, these darker complected Latinos, even the whiter ones too, and these Africans and these Caribbeans, the very same thing that they do to Black Americans is what a lot of Latin people do to New Yorkans, where they completely separate themselves and are like, oh, no, 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 you're, you're New York. I'm not Puerto, I'm not Puerto Rican from New York. Oh, no, ugh, no, you guys listen to hip hop. No, you do this. Ugh, ugh. Now, all of a sudden, when it comes to hip hop, it's all, oh, we're all Latinos and we all, we all partook in the beginnings of hip hop. Get the fuck out of here, man. Get out of here. You're so full of it. And you know, and this is going to you guys that are quick to throw us under the bus, quick to put us down for being loud, for being ghetto, for being too quote unquote black American identified, for not having a culture, do, 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 for not speaking the language. And that's like the worst thing in the world to, to Latin people. Meanwhile, you got fucking people in Latin America getting raped and killed every five seconds, okay? The women are getting their asses beat over there, killed, skinned alive, as like I said in my live stream. It, get out of here, okay? You know, we, we're not doing that bad, all right? It ain't all that, that, it's not like that. Like, you should address that, all right? Especially if you are more connected to Latin America, why are you uh, worried about what we're doing over here as New Yorkans? Uh, I would think that what's going on over there is a worse representation of Latin people than us being associated with Black Americans and Black American culture. I'm just saying, I come on, okay? Go read, all right? <laughs> Go fucking read, okay? So with all of this being said, this is why I think um, there's a whole lot more to this than um, just like, oh, they don't want to give us the credit. I think it's more than that. I think if we um, were honest and we were like, okay, we need to address the fact that for a very long time, uh, you know, our very own people have always been when they come to this country and when they go to um, these, you know, inner city neighborhoods and most specifically when they go to New York City because hip hop was um, created in New York City, the melting pot of the world, right? And if, you know, these Latin people, if they were just genuinely honest about their contributions on how they were towards Black American people, then maybe Black American people wouldn't be so up in arms with this whole, you know, with Fat Joe saying that he's, you know, that the Puerto Ricans created hip hop and Jamaica's created, well, that was Busta Rhymes said both Puerto Ricans and Jamaica, whatever, you know? And for the longest time, you know, I agreed with it and I believed it too. Um, but I think that they wouldn't be so up in arms if we were to be honest about how disrespectful a lot of us are towards them as a group. All right. When I'm saying this, for people who really know me and know my channel, you guys all know I call out everybody. Okay. I've done videos where I've spoken about, um, you know, the issues with between um, Latinos and Black Americans growing up in the hood and stuff like that, and how things weren't always so hunky dory, and, you know, the gangs and the fighting and the stuff like that. I was always honest, and I was always honest about, you know, uh, sometimes our issues with white Americans or with other groups of people and even amongst our own. That's something that I've always done my very, very best to try to be as open with this stuff as I possibly could. And I always try to do things, um, you know, I always try to do my best to see all sides of everything. And I always try to talk about all sides of everything. I did, it was a couple of years, and I've said this before, I said, I'll say it again. I did a couple of years ago, just a freaking... Um, a, a ton of videos just addressing Latinos getting killed by the cops, okay? So I think I do my best to be as neutral as I can. And with that is not going to gain you popularity because what gains popularity on here is people going back and forth, people constantly fighting, bickering over bullshit, okay? But I'm not going to lie. Some of these people that have been talking about this, um have been very entertaining from the, I, I don't know what's going on with the Latin people with this topic. I, I kind of don't care because again, I know that that sounds bad, but again, I feel like there's really not room for people who are not around, nor do they really have like a long, like a long history here. And I'm not saying that just New Yorkans have a long history in New York City, because I know other Latin groups do. Um, but if you don't yourself, 
then I kind of feel like, mm, you know, what what is your take and all, you know? You're just kind of going by stuff that you, you know, you read or whatever. Like, your, does your family really have a history here from when hip hop started and all that stuff? Mine does. Okay. And one of the things that I've seen um, when it comes to like black Americans and, and one of the complaints that they have is like uh, that Latin people would put down, especially when hip hop first started, they would put down hip hop and they would insult it. They would insult the genre. They didn't like it or whatever. That's true. That's very true very very true i saw it within my own family with the elders in my family and i saw it from people in the street and especially foreign latin people that were like oh, you listen to that and then oh, disgusting and you know whatever putting their input in when nobody asked <laughs> you know that so they would say shit you know and and it's very true because i heard those things with my own ears as well now i know that this video may come as a surprise to some people with some of the things that I'm saying. And the, the thing is, a part of me was like, do I have this as a comeback video or not? Because I know how people are on here. And the minute that I'm like, you know, not taking Latin people and, and putting, this, putting us on this freaking retarded ass pedestal and then, you know, everybody is beneath us. And if you're not doing that, then you don't care for Latin people type bullshit. <sighs> you know i know how it goes with some of you guys and you want to take the stuff that i'm saying and manipulate it and make it seem like i'm like against latin people or whatever look it doesn't matter what i say on here because i'm always gonna piss somebody off always you're always gonna piss somebody off if you're really honest you're always gonna piss somebody off because people are not so <laughs> what is it with this shit that people feel the need to have to agree with somebody a hundred percent it's it's so fucking ridiculous what's wrong with what's wrong with people what's wrong with people um yeah i think that's i'm about almost 20 minutes in um and i'm trying to think of oh, the, oh my god i have so i swear to god i have so many you know what let, do i tell a story do i tell a story i'm gonna tell a story i'm gonna tell a story and this is not to like put down the person that I'm telling the story about. This is an incident that happened a very long time ago when I was a kid. Okay. Um, so when I was a kid, when I was a kid in high school, um, as people know, I've, I've said it before, I went to um, a high school in the city. And, um, you know, we used to hang at the, ki the kids, were, you know, we used to hang out in the city after school. So there was a day that I was with one of my friends from high school and uh, we had left Old Navy. I think it was Old Navy on, was it 28th Street? 28th Street, something like that. And we were going across the street to a shoe store. I don't remember if the shoe store was called Av something with Avenue, the Avenue. So it doesn't it's, it's it doesn't exist anymore. I guess it was like the almost the equivalent of like a DSW at the time. Anyway, point is we were crossing the street going to the shoe store, right? So we're crossing the street and leaving Old Navy after we picked up some stuff. And there's this uh, there's this this kid, uh, a black American kid. And so I immediately saw him checking out my friend, and I'm here trying not to laugh because I knew he was gonna try to talk to my friend. So he does. Um, and the way he was dressed would be uh, associated with, you know, I guess like, you know, very, you know, urban type stuff. Like he had on the, the wife beater at the time. He had on like a chain and like, you know, the real bag at that time, it was the real baggy jeans, all right? So he looked, you know, he fit that look, all right? However, when he went to speak to my friend, he actually approached her respectfully. Now, I'm specifying this because in New York City, if you guys don't know, which I'm sure people do know because you hear things like this on social media, guys in New York City, when it comes to like approaching women, they can be extremely disrespectful. I mean, holy crap, there's women that have been hit. There's women that have been robbed. There's women that have been jumped. There's women that have been killed for um, rejecting a guy. Okay, is it, you know, some of these guys, they, they are not all there. In this particular case, however, he was very respectful to my friend. It was like something to the effect of, you know, hello, like, excuse me, you know, can I talk to you for a minute, da, 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 you know. And there was like a nervousness in his voice or whatever. And my friend was like, no. So I didn't think anything of it. I was like, oh, okay. But then he persisted. She said, no, get the F away from me. I'm like, yeesh. That's, you know, that's harsh, you know. 
again didn't really think anything of it i guess i was like all right you know i not my business then he kept on she turned around this my friend was latin i didn't mention that no she was not puerto rican and I know what I'm about to say for the Latin guys that hate black American guys. You guys are going to love this chick. You're probably going to try to go look for her or whatever. All right. She goes to my, to, to that, to that guy. My friend goes to that guy and she says, I don't like black people. You effing N-I-G-G-E-R. Hard E-R at the end. I stood there with my mouth dropped open because I never in my life heard somebody say to a black like literally call a black person the n-word like to their face we had plenty of black friends in school she had plenty of black friends we had a black teacher that we both had shared the same class with always got along with her i never heard her speak like this before ever never ever okay i didn't know what to do i'm standing there the whitest one out of the, out of the three of us because my friend was more you know she was more on the mixed side and you could tell that she had, you know, heavier African ancestry as opposed to somebody like myself, right? So I'm the whitest motherfucker there. Like, excuse my language, I'm the whitest one there. I'm like, oh God, what do I do? Is this guy gonna like hit my friend? I tell her what, the, you know, I cursed at her. I was like, what the F was that? I'm like, my goodness. And she's like, I, she's like, I don't like them. I don't like them. Da -da -da -da. I'm like, all right, but was that N word called for? <laughs> you know, I'm like, what the hell was that? What if the guy would have, you know, flipped out on you? What if he would have hit you? What if something, you know what I mean? She didn't care. My friend did not care at all. I didn't know what to do. I never, again, never heard her speak like that. Um, point is, um, the worst part of it, worst part of it was that the guy was still trying to talk to her swear to god i swear to god this is why when some of these women talk about some of these guys and how they have these you know self-hate issues i'm not putting it on all these guys i know it because i saw it and that was me seeing it firsthand for myself okay i saw it I, and i was like i at that point i really didn't feel that bad for the guy anymore i'm like oh my god you're still willing to talk to somebody that's that's speaking to you i don't know what to think i that, that was like an eye opener that whole incident Point being that I'm saying this is, <laughs> the reason why I'm saying this is, because that very same person was very into Black American culture. Very into Black American culture. The music, the style, the clothes, the baby hair things going on, all of it, okay? So, and sh that person, she was not, <laughs> she's, there's so many of them that are like that. They, they are quick to dress that way head you know head to toe with you know the 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 jordans and i don't know what people wear anymore <laughs> See, I, don't, I don't know about that stuff anymore i'm old okay so whatever it is the style that that people wear now you know now it's like the, the heavy surgery and the big you know the butts and what have you right <laughs> point is is you know they, they well they wear wigs or whatever they'll wear the clothes they'll listen to the music they'll heavily like promote the culture while simultaneously insulting it and saying that they're not that that they're not black or they're not that and it's like it's very confusing that is very that's always very been, been extremely confusing for me and I would, <laughs> I remember the times when things like that would happen, right? Or that like a, a, a black American <laughs> would ask like a Latin, like let's say an Afro Latin person in front of my face and they're black to me. I'm not, <laughs> they get all pissed off. I'm not black. Then they look, the, the American looks at me like, what's this? And I'm like, I don't know. Like you think, I'm, <laughs> why, why, why are you looking at me? Like I have the answer. I have no idea. I don't know what to tell you. Okay. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, it's a racism, I guess. I don't know. I, I don't know. I never knew how to answer that question. Just honestly, okay? <laughs> Still don't know how to answer the question. Um, but I think with all of this being said, like with all the, the, the jokes aside or what have you, oh my God, I'm like 25 minutes in. I hope you guys are like watching this whole video throughout. It would be really great if you are. Um, all of this being said, it this it's this is like giving tons of mixed messages to that group like what what do you say to that and i kind of feel like um 
people like uh, Busta Rhymes and people like Fat Joe. And people already know that I got my issues with Fat. Even though I may not be the biggest fan of Fat Joe, to say that he didn't contribute, you know, to hip hop or anything, that's bullshit. Come on. He did. You know, he did. I may not be the biggest fan or whatever, especially with the whole thing with Big Pun's wife or whatever, but my favorite song of his was uh, was uh, John Blaze, Johnny Blaze, whatever. That was like my favorite Fat Joe song. But that's also because he had a bunch of other artists on that song. Um, that's neither here nor there. Point is, I think if they were to be honest and if they were to talk about the discrimination that's um, always put against Black American people, and if they were really honest about it, I think that as a whole, maybe Black American people might be a little bit more open to hearing their side to when it comes to um, the contributions that you know we had to hip hop, right? I'm saying we, whatever. Not that I personally ever did, <laughs> but you know, the, the contributions that Puerto Ricans had, that Jamaicans had, that Caribbean Blacks had to hip hop. I think that they would be more open to hearing things like that if we were to also be honest about how discriminatory we are in a lot of cases as a group towards them. And we're not. We're not. It's just the truth. It's just the dead, honest truth. It really is. Um... And again, this is not me saying that Black Americans don't have their issues towards us and that they're not, you know, hateful towards us sometimes because, yes, they are. Yes, that, absolutely. They are sometimes. I mean, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to deny and say that it doesn't go both ways because it does. All right. But I think for us to just completely act as if, no, you know, we were here and you need to accept that we were here from the beginning and we we contributed to hip hop from the beginning and this and, ju and just this and just that and not talk about our part and how we are towards them and how we've been towards them since history, since we first started migrating to this country, this stuff is never going to get squashed, you know, even though I think a lot of it is trolling, to be honest, but anyhow, I figured I would do this video anyway, and I figured it would be like a good comeback. I've been fine. Um, I guess this is, I, I think from now on, I'm not, from now this point of the video, I just won't even talk about anything like that anymore. Um, I'm fine. Uh, this, I've just been really busy. And I've also wanted to take like a little bit of a social media break. Um, and I think I might take a little bit more of a break after this. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, but I figured I would do this as quick as I possibly can. This is about a half an hour long video. I hope that you guys sat through it. I hope that it was informative. Um, and yeah, just, you know, I know that my story, you know, like with my friend or whatever, I'm not like trying to put this person down or whatever, you know, we were, you know, we were young and I'm also not trying to excuse her behavior either, right? Uh, but the reason why I, I said that story is to shed light on um, and experience and on things that really do happen within our community with, you know, with regards to us living amongst each other and things like that do happen. And I feel like a lot of Latin people don't really address that. And I think that those are parts of the reasons as to why a lot of these um, Black Americans are kind of like coming up with their own movements and they, they really want to just distance themselves from foreign Blacks and from, you know, from foreign Latin, you know, they just want to distance themselves. I can't blame them can't blame them I really can't um so yeah anyhow I'm half an hour in I'm gonna go for now I uh yeah I hope that you guys enjoyed this and I will see you all in my next one take it easy guys